Now the plan this morning is to try and cook something on this stove. So here's the setup. I put a handle on it. Um, this is the original, you know, chunk of the barrel that I cut out, and I've just made a lid out of it. Now it doesn't have to be airtight, it just has to kind of contain heat a little bit. All I did was I put a couple of hinges on it, stuck a handle on it, now the handle is rough and ready, the whole thing is rough and ready, but it works, and it works really well. So look, I'm going to show you the simple procedure for lighting it. Okay, generally, I put a drop of kerosene in, just a couple of squirts, okay. Then I get my turbo torch and light it. Okay, so that's it lit now. Just gonna put this in, it helps with uh, compressing the flame if you like. Okay, like a top hat, it's just sitting over everything. And when I close this, listen out for the noise change. Hear it? It sounds a bit like a rocket stove, well, which it is. Okay, so I'm sure you can see that burning now. Sorry for the shaky camera. But it's burning nice and bright yellow. Okay, now there's nothing, no fans. You know, you can see everything that there is there. Definitely no fans. So I'm gonna show you the smoke situation outside. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see that, no smoke situation. Okay, so that's the setup. There is no smoke outside. Okay, um, get you in a bit closer. Okay, there's my six inch pipe going from side to side. Uh, the hot flue gas is going to these cheek parts and then have to travel sideways and up. That's by design. Okay, these panels get, get hot about in the order of about 200 and odd degrees. Um, the welding is a bit... <laughs> Is more than a bit rough, but look, it's holding it together. Now that's why I put the brake disc in there. It forces the flames around it and helps with the burn. The air for combustion, some of it is leaking in through the top of the door, you know, and some of the bottom of the door where you can see the light there. But I'm not worried about it. Um, it gets plenty of um, plenty of air through the burn chamber, and you can hear it's running really, really well. Okay, give you a look at the the, uh, the oil feed. Okay, so there's the oil feed if it stays in focus now, see? Okay, so look, I can increase the oil and I can decrease the oil. I can get it down to, you know, drips if I want to. But generally, I run it around there. Now the flame is licking the back of the glass and uh, it's getting a little bit black on that side, but no problem. Okay, so I've been wanting to do this for a while now. I can't cook, I'm gonna give this a shot, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I have the makings of a fry. Okay, I have an egg, some sausages, some bacon, and uh, some pudding. Um, I'm gonna throw it on now and see how I get on. I've born everything, it's still going on YouTube, I don't care, I eat what I can. <laughs> throw it at the rescue, I'll call the dog over. Okay, here we go, I genuinely can't cook, so this is gonna be a bit of Okay, here we go. Okay, I've been told to put a bit of oil in stuff. There's some veggie oil. Generally, I burn it. <laughs> I don't cook on it. Okay, so. Kettle is, um, is boiled. It's uh, very hot. Okay. All right, let's throw some sausages in first. These are old pans, <laughs> these are the only ones I was let next turn here. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so I see a little bit of sizzling. Uh, inside of the pan, it's telling me it's about 150 degrees. And uh, surface temperature of the plate is about 370 degrees. So there's still no smoke outside, there's none, but uh, the flame is licking the inside of the glass. It, it's a bit long. Uh, um, the brake disc is a bit large for the inside diameter of this propane tank and it causes, the way I have it set up anyway, it causes the flame to leak the glass. I can fix that, that's not an issue, I'm not even worried about it. But there's no smoke outside, nothing. Uh, certainly nothing to be seen anyway. Okay, here we go, it sounds like we're cooking something here. <laughs> and look, they're going brown. Okay. Oh, this one's 
recording. Okay. We can take that out. Okay, so let's just move these sausages around so they're not boring in one place. Bang it. When I made this thing, I made it so that the heat would evenly be fairly even across the, the surface. So there isn't a cooler spot to, to put it if it gets too hot. Okay, we'll give that a minute. Oh, you can see the oil drum. It has plenty of space. I'll bring it in closer. <laughs> Smoke is the general rule of thumb, I think. <laughs> Plenty of smoke. Okay, here we go. The heat of this is intense. My legs are frying here. Now, I genuinely want these sausages a bit dark. Not lightly roasted, I want them fairly black. <laughs> That's my design. I'm heading for that. Okay, so it's going really well. The white side corner part of the thing's lashing the heat up. Really, really, really good. I'm going to split this sausage. Just moving away from the heat. I have everything kind of turned up. And the uh, heat's quite strong. Okay, so surprisingly, it's not going too bad. Um, the heat output on your legs, um, I didn't expect that. Honestly, I've never cooked that before. I have it turned up a bit um, to make sure I'm generating plenty of heat. Um, I'll show you the smoke situation as I plenty of smoke <laughs> in here, but it's, uh, it's me splashing veggie oil and so on. Okay. Okay, I managed to keep the egg intact. Whoa, egg's getting away from me. Try that on the plate on the top. <clears throat> See if we can present something here. Okay. Four sausages. This is a big brekkie. Haven't had a fry in ages. <laughs> that doesn't look too bad. Okay, so I'm not beyond making smoke in this room. <laughs> I've done it lots of times. This is the first time I've done it, I think, with cooking. So, um, kettle is boiling. I'm going to make some tea in a minute. This is the brekkie. I want to get some ketchup and stuff in the house. So that's it. Um, let's see if I die. Excuse me. That's really nice, okay? All right, so I'm going to have this breakfast now. Okay, so I managed to cook some breakfast. It doesn't look too bad. I didn't burn anything. I'm amazed. Uh, that means I'm going to get to cook more often in the house when my wife sees this video. Okay, so look, if you like the video, please thumbs up, subscribe down here somewhere, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video. But that's it, look, fantastic little waste on burner setup, um, and it works really well. No smoke outside whatsoever. A little bit of smoke on the glass inside because I have it turned up. Other than that, no problem. So I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now, good luck.